Prince Hanley coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure healing, miracle working love. I want to talk to you today about changing demon graphics or fertility, climate, geopolitics, and Fed coin. First, let me give you a warning as a description. The world as you know it is about to be changed dramatically and permanently. In this teaching, we will discuss four dynamic social, economic, and geopolitical changes that are currently developing with substantive force. Number one, fertility and families. Number two, climate change and globalism. Number three, down with the West, and number four, Fedcoin and the end of privacy. My friend, prophecy is the foreknowledge of what future society and humans will choose to do. All of the four changes that I just mentioned to you give occasion for oppressive controls, but if you exercise faith, I'm going to teach you how to escape, protect, and empower yourself. So let's talk about changing demon graphics, fertility, climate, geopolitics, and Fedcoin. People change their minds, so do nations. Trends develop as multiple minds change in like persuasion. Some trends reappear after decades, some after centuries. However, we are reminded in Scripture that God is not human, that he should not lie not a human being, that he should change his mind. You can read that in the Torah in Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. Just to give you a little idea of change, look at the following public school demon graphics. Student population increased 7.6% in 10 years. Teachers employed increased 8%. 0.7%, about the same. However, district administrators increased 87.6%. The number of administrators increased, why? To administer CRT and gay curriculum? Have you seen any benefit from this increased presence of administrators? The Bible teaches clearly that there are demonic authorities and spiritual forces that rule in the atmosphere and have positions of authority over geopolitical confines, such as described in the book of Daniel, the fallen evil prince over Persia, or modern-day Iran, and the fallen evil prince over Greece. You can read about those in Daniel chapter 10, verses 20 to 21. There are actual demonic principalities or powers that are assigned by Satan over certain geopolitical strata. This is still true today. Let me repeat, there are assigned satanic forces, principalities, powers, dominions that are delegated to specific geographic areas. So what should you do? Number one, bind these forces with prophetic decrees for your family, your city and country, and your future. How will you know it works? Watch God reward you, my friend, across the board. Watch for good change in areas where you focus. In this teaching, we will discuss four dynamic social, economic, and geopolitical changes that are developing with substantive force at present. One of them is fertility and families. Another is climate change and globalism. Another is down with the West. Another one is Fedcoin and the end of privacy. A Nazi political theologian named Carl Schmitt said, Sovereign is he who decides the state of emergency. Economist Milton Friedman said, Only a crisis, real or perceived, produces real change. The byword is never let a crisis go to waste. It actually means create a crisis to make change. So let's talk about that first change. Fertility and families, single and spermless. Human longevity is trending for most of the nations. A quick examination of population studies shows increased aging, which is probably due to increased prosperity and new medical developments. The global population is aging. 
Life expectancy has increased to 70 years or more in many countries. In 2020, for the first time in recorded history, individuals aged 60 or older outnumbered children under the age of 5. These remarkable gains are due to improved public health, better nutrition, better health care, and most recently, employing technological innovations, big data, and artificial intelligence to improve healthy life expectancy and meet the demands of an aging population. People are living longer, which is, or at least has been in the past, a blessing. The World Economic Forum, WEF, says the biggest benefit technology can have on aging and longevity is creating opportunities for people to connect. Warning. But then watch how this connection will try to use this to control the aged and to control you. Beware of World Economic Forum connection. Beware of ESG connection. Beware of Reset Connection. Let's look at a brief history. In 2015, one in five households provided care to an elderly or disabled individual who required assistance. But by 2030, 2030, only one in ten households will provide care to the elderly who need it. Humans, that would be most of your neighbors probably, have changed their minds about caring for the aged and about having children. Plus, families as we have known them are under attack. Children, in the eyes of many people living worldwide, especially in fascist-run countries, are not thought to be a blessing of the Lord. Let me remind you that Psalm 127 verse 3 says, Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring a reward from him. In addition, decreasing fertility is a worldwide trend at this time. Plus, many globalists like Bill Gates want to decrease world population, and many people are deciding not to have children or even to marry. Female fertility has declined in recent years, and male sperm counts are also decreasing. Less population, even with increased AI and robotic production, along with increased length of life, will create a social economic tsunami worldwide, except for the people who know their God. So let's talk about the second change, climate change and globalism, fact or finance. Climate change and green energy have, since 2020, seriously damaged the economies of most nations. Check out my teaching on climate legislation, The Inconvenient Untruth. By the way, I put a link for that in the show notes of the podcast, where I discuss two postulates concerning climate change that are never covered by environmentalists or the media or authors on the subject. Also, I place several resources there available for your further study. Hopefully, if you are involved in environmentalism, expending time or money, you may find another way to be more effective in helping planet Earth and its inhabitants. Global emissions like CO2 and methane are rising, but as far as the USA is concerned, our position should be, let China and India clean up their mess first, and we'll wait until they catch up. Both China and India persecute and murder Christians. Do you really expect them to be emissions honest and friendly? None of the anti-carbon referendums proposed today are backed by scientific proof. This change will not make a difference except to strap you with control and ESG social scores, plus do away with lots of enjoyable lifestyle. For example, the seeming correlation of temperature to CO2 in the atmosphere Al Gore states, and thereby presupposes, that the CO2 present in the atmosphere is causal to the rise or fall of temperature. When the reverse is true, it is the temperature. The sun has a lot to do with this, my friend. It is the temperature which is the causal effect for the amount of CO2 present in the atmosphere. Globalists, most of the nations, have changed to dance along with the climate alarmist. In 19 of the developed countries, the public views climate change as the top global threat. Well, how did this come about? Let's talk about that. 
trick number one. Climate change is a lucrative enterprise, and don't forget about politicians. Trick number two. Global warming allows governments to control you. It's all about money and control. So let's talk about change number three. Down with the West, fascism versus freedom. Joe Biden, the great divider used by Satan, has helped to destroy the prominence of the USA. The EU and America are now competitors with the rest of the world, India, China, Russia, Asia, and others. What brought this change about? As a result of the USA and Europe imposing sanctions on Russia because of its invasion of Ukraine, financial systems were shut down. But this backfired. Why? Other countries became fearful that the U.S. and E.U. might shut them down in the future, and so they decided never to be locked in economically and financially by the Western nations. The U.S.A. is no longer the shining city on the hill, but is now a competitor with many of our previous allies, at least economically and financially. This will result in major damage in banking, currency, global trade, and financial balance. A suggestion for you, my friend. Setting up a bartering network could be a really good avenue since now we can trade time or skills for monopoly money to then trade that money for goods and other services. It seems like it's time to get rid of the middleman. Planting your own food, saving seeds from everything you buy, and learning to live off the grid will be very helpful in the future, and I'll discuss more of that in just a few moments. So let's talk about number four change, FedCoin and the end of privacy. Watch out for CBDC, Central Bank Digital Currency, or FedCoin. The government will use an excuse of regulation around cryptocurrency as one way to push this agenda. Citigroup, MasterCard, and six other institutions are trying to digitize actual physical dollars. ESG is now masking itself as ETI, or Economically Targeted Investments. If you have a 401k, this will no longer be your investment. ETI will go hand-in-hand -hand with FedCoin, and it will be the end of financial freedom. FedCoin is not an actual coin. Instead, it is a spatial account created and maintained for each American by the Federal Reserve. Each month, Fed employees could tap a few keys on a computer, and each American would have dollars added to his or her Federal Reserve account. FedCoin could affect private cryptocurrencies. Also, it would limit the ability of private citizens to protect themselves from the Federal Reserve caused decline in the dollar's value. Dr. Ron Paul says FedCoin is a new scheme for tyranny and poverty. FedCoin would not magically increase the number of available goods and services. What it would do is drive up prices. The damage this would do to middle and low income Americans would dwarf any benefit they receive from their monthly gift from the Fed. The rise in prices could lead to Congress regularly increasing FedCoin payments to Americans. These increases would cause prices to keep rising even more until we face hyperinflation and a dollar crisis. My friend, FedCoin poses a great threat to privacy. The Federal Reserve could know when FedCoin is used, who is using it, and what you use it for. This information could be shared with government agencies, such as the FBI or the IRS. The government could use the ability to know how Americans are spending FedCoin to limit our ability to purchase goods and services, disfavored by politicians and bureaucrats. In other words, are you spending their money the way they want you to? Anyone who doubts this should recall the Obama administration's Operation Choke Point. Obama's Operation Choke Point involved financial regulators alerting banks that dealing with certain businesses such as gun stores would put the banks at reputational risk and could subject them to greater regulation. 
Is it so hard to believe that the ability to track purchases would be used in the future to discourage individuals from buying guns, fatty foods, or tobacco, or from being customers of corporations whose CEOs are not considered woke by the thought police? FedCoin could also be used to encourage individuals to patronize green business thus fulfilling the Fed Chairman Jerome Powell's goal of involving the Fed in fight against climate change. FedCoin could threaten private cryptocurrencies, increase inflation, and get government new powers over our financial transactions. FedCoin will also speed up change for destruction of our fiat or paper money system. Whatever gain FedCoin may bring to average Americans will come at terrible cost to liberty and prosperity. A cashless society would be the death knell for liberty and freedom, offering centralization the likes of which Marx and Lenin could only dream. My friend, the existence of a government backdoor or spyware becomes a real possibility, and with the government's track record, a probability. The ability to track, freeze, and even set expiration dates on money will be marketed as features to protect the public. So what are you to do with all these changes? And that's why I presented this teaching. Prophecy is the foreknowledge of what future society and humans will choose to do. You are going to have to listen to God more than ever before, my friend. Do not let fear overtake you. Implement the following that I'm getting ready to discuss and check them off when you do. Number one, make prophetic decrees. Study my book, Prophecy, Transition, and Miracles. I placed a link for that book in the show notes of the podcast. Number two, establish bartering influence. Do you have a skill or a product or a service you can use to trade for something else? To trade for somebody else's products or services or skills? Number three, get off the grid as much as possible and as soon as possible. Number four, do not live in a smart city or a smart HOA. Number five, have a prayer or a cell group that you trust and belong to. Number six, use a safe VPN and use ProtonMail to do your emails while you can. Number seven, protect your assets. And in addition, I want you to study three of my messages. I placed a link for each of those in the show notes of the podcast. The first is anointed slowdown, preparation for your future. The second is disciplina, knowledge and order, end time revelation. And the third, how prophecy can change churches and nations. And then, my friend, study my book, Prophecy, Transition and Miracles. That will also help you to know how to make prophetic decrees. My friend, be an instrument of change for yourself, for your children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, your progeny, and for your nation. A change producing miracles from God. This is your friend, Prince Handley, coming to you with 100,000 watts of pure, healing, miracle-working love. Baruch Abba Shim Adonai.